The news of a Cessna C-501 private jet plane crashing into the waters of a Tennessee lake on Saturday morning has brought Christian diet guru Gwen Shamblin Lara in news again. Shamblin, along with her husband Joe Lara, church leaders David and Jennifer Martin, Jonathan and Jessica Walters, and Gwen Shamblin Lara's son-in-law, Brandon Hanna are presumably dead. Shamblin was a controversial figure whose teachings as a founder of Christian Diet Program The Way Down Workshop and the Remnant Fellowship Church was questioned multiple times. First, let us see first see what Christian Diet Program is all about. This is a program designed by Shamblin, which includes combination of weight loss programs with Christianity. Her books, which include weight loss lessons with a coating of religious aspects, have earned her thousands of followers and devotees across the world. Here is how the plan to implement Christian diet started. Gwen Shamblin Lara with husband Joe. Instagram What is Gwen Shamblin Lara's Christian diet? Shamblin grew up in a Church of Christ family. She has an undergraduate degree in dietetics from University of Tennessee, in Knoxville. She completed her master's degree in food and nutrition from the Memphis State University. She is a registered dietitian and consultant. She also has worked as a faculty member at the Memphis State University for five years and has served state's health department for five years. Shamblin is from a well-to-do family and lived in Ashlawn, a historic mansion in Brentwood, Tennessee, that was built in 1838. Shamblin is said to have struggled with her weight while in school. She had a notion that genetics, metabolism and behavior modification alone couldn't explain why some people were thin and others were fat. Thus she designed a weight loss program that aimed at developing a discipline to eat. Her program was ready when she was pursuing master's degree at Memphis State University. Accordingly, her books claim that people should only eat when they feel hungry physically and stop eating when they are full. Prayer and Bible reading will fill their emotional needs. She termed overeating as greed and encouraged participants to read the Bible instead. She started Counseling Center in 1991. By 1994, her teachings had spread to 600 churches in 35 states of the U.S. Within one year this number increased to 1,000 churches and by 1996, she had followers from 5,000 churches including eight in Britain. Reports claimed that by mid-2000s it had become one of the most popular weight loss programs in the entire U.S. over 250,000 participants. Controversies including child abuse, Death Shamblin had referred to starvation of Jews in Nazi concentration camps and had said that genetics do not play a role in weight loss. In a CNN Larry King show, she had told, how in the Holocaust did you have all these people getting down real skinny? They ate less food. Her ministry was criticized as business.